Crochet Magical Mystery Tour, a year-long crochet along where I present a weekly free crochet pattern, also monthly giveaways and more. My name is Chris and there's more information at my website lightandjoydesigns.com. The link is in the description below. Today I will be showing you how to make the autumn lace cowl. In this, in this week's lesson we'll be learning how to make the open shell. It's an, another variation on a crochet shell. And we'll also be learning how to make this cowl in two easy ways. You can either make it as a simple turtleneck or you can make it in an extended cowl that comes down over a little bit more over your shoulders and chest area. Um, in addition, you can make these matching hand warmers or these matching mitts. And I will have pictures of all of these different items, um, plus actually some more, at the end of this video. So let's get started. Before we dive into the materials for this pattern, please go ahead and subscribe now to my channel to be alerted of new patterns that come out weekly. And also tap the notify bell so that you hear about it first. Also, if you like free patterns, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and let's get going. I'll have links to all the yarns that I used in the description below, but just to give you a quick review of which yarns were used in each of these. This one was made in Lion Brand Color Made Easy in the colorway Prism. This one was made in Premier Yarns Mega Tweed and it was made in three different colors. The bottom color is called White Tweed, the center color is called Oyster Tweed, and the blue color is called Stream Tweed. This one is made in Cozy Wool by Loops and Threads in the colorway Velvet. And this one here is made in Ferris Wheel by Lion Brand in the colorway Cherry on Top. For today's pattern we will be using Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick in the colorway Acai and Marble. You will need not, um, not even a whole skein of this type of yarn and I will list also the amount that I used. Actually none of the um, cowls used a whole skein of, of each of the yarns that I used. You will also need a measuring tape, a scissors, a yarn needle, and today we'll be using with this yarn a nine millimeter crochet hook. And for this pattern you can use any weight yarn and any crochet hook that you like because uh, this pattern is fully customizable uh, just depending on your starting chains. I will be demonstrating today how to change the yarn, but you can make yours in one solid color. So the first step is you're going to measure the, the circumference that you would like. You can take your measuring tape, put it around your neck and see how wide you want the turtleneck portion of your cowl to be. Uh, for this one, it's about 11 inches wide, so 22 inches in circumference, and that's how long the starting chain was. Um, and all the rest of them were all about very similar. This one is probably about 10 inches around, so 20, in, sorry, 10 inches across, 20 inches around. And you can choose whatever measurement you would like. And you don't have to worry about the, the large part because we do that 
second. We add on to the bottom and it's very easy. So for mine, I'm going to make mine about 21, 20 to 21 inches long. And what you're going to do is you're going to start with a slip knot. Place it on your hook. And then you're going to make a chain the length of your, that you measured, that you would like the circumference to be. So to chain, we just yarn over, pull through the loop on our hook, yarn over, pull through the loop on our hook, and go all the way until your chain is the length that you desire. Your chain will need to be in multiples of six. So when you get it to the length that you desire, um, keep, keep count as you're going along. And if it's a little bit um, you know, just either either um, make a few more to get it to a multiple of six or subtract a couple of chains to get it to the multiple of six. And to explain what that means, multiple of six, it means any number into which the number six can be divided um, without a fraction. So they would be like six 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on. Okay, so for mine, I have done uh, 42. Six goes into 42 seven times. Um, I know that this yarn is going to stretch a little bit, so here's where my chain ends. It's going to be just fine. It'll even stretch out even more. So keep that in mind. If your yarn is really stretchy, you might want to go an inch or two underneath the number that you want. Um, you can see how much this stretches. So um, pick the number that you think will work best with your yarn and the length that you want. So once you have your chain done, what you're going to do is you're going to go along these V's so that you're keeping your chain from getting twisted <clears throat> all the way to the end. And when you get to the last V, turn it around and you're going to go into that top thread tighten up the loop on your hook you're going to yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook and that's a slip stitch and the first thing we're going to do now for so that was our foundation chain now we're going to do our row one. <clears throat> we're going to chain one, and then we're going to make a single crochet in the same place where we made our slip stitch. So we go into that space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And what you're going to do now is, on the rest of these chains, go into the top thread of the chain and do single crochets all the way around. So you can see the anatomy of the chain is on the front. We have these V's. We have a top thread and a bottom thread. And in the back we have a third thread called the back bump. We're not going into that. We're just going to go into the top thread of each one and single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're here at the end. I've got three more stitches to go. And this is our last stitch right here. And 
Now that we're at the end of our first round, what we're going to do is we're going to join it to our first single crochet with a slip stitch. So go into that first stitch under those top two V's. Make sure that loop is not too loose. Yarn over, pull through a loop, and yarn over, pull it through the loop on your hook. And that is row one completed. Okay, so for row two, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we are going to skip two stitches. So this was, this is the stitch where our slip stitch was. So we skip the next two. There's one, two, and we're going to make an open shell into this third stitch. And an open shell is two double crochets. And a double crochet is we yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we chain one, that's what makes this shell open. And we do two more double crochets. Yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we do one more. So this shell is two double crochets, a chain space, and then two double crochets. Then the next step is we skip two stitches, one, two, and in the third stitch we do a single, we do one double crochet. then we just basically do the same thing all over again. So we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and in the third one we're going to make our open shell. So two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. One and two. And now we just skip two more stitches and do a solitary double crochet. One, two, three. And just continue this pattern repeat all the way around. And when we get to the end, I'll show you how we join it. So I just finished my last open shell and I have one, two stitches left. This is, this was the original slip stitch, so that's not one of the stitches. And so you should have two stitches left that you'll be skipping and you'll be attaching it to the top of the chain three. So one, two, three, go into that stitch make sure your loop is not too loose, yarn over, pull through a loop, and yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook. And now the pattern is complete all the way around. This chain three counts as a double crochet. So now what we're going to do is basically do the same thing, just a little differently. So this was round two, and for round three, we chain three, and now it's even easier. You don't even have to count skipping stitches. You're just going to make your next open shell into the chain space of the open shell in the previous row. So we're going to make two double crochets. chain one, and two double crochets. Then we go to 
the, the double crochet below, and we're going to do a double crochet into that one. And then another open shell into the chain space of the open shell of the previous row. And then the next thing we'll do is make a double crochet into this double crochet. And you just continue that all the way around until you get to the end and you'll be joining to the chain three. I'll meet you back here for that. So we've just completed round three and we're going to join it to the top of the chain three. One, two, three. Go into that third chain, tighten up your loop, yarn over, pull through a loop, and yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook. <clears throat> so what you're going to do now at this stage is just continue row, to do row three until you have the height that you want. So on this one, it's probably, this, this yarn was very similar. I did a total of one, two, three, four rows. Um, so this was actually row two, this is row three. So I just did two more and that got me to a height of about six inches. Um, and then I added the bottom part. If you are making the mitts or the cuffs in this yarn in the Lion Brand uh, Wool Ease Thick and Quick. This yarn is very similar um, weight to this one. I did a starting chain of 18. So, <clears throat> and I did, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. And for the cuffs, I just did one, two, three. So if you want yours to be all in one solid color and just the turtleneck, just continue until you have the height that you desire and you'll be finished. And um, I'll show you the finishing at the end. Um, but if you want to change colors, I'm going to show you that when I get to my last, to my last round. So that'll come next. Okay, so I just finished the third row of this, um, the shell pattern. There's one, two, three. And I'm going to show you how to join in another color. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the top of your third chain, pull that snug, and then what we're going to do is cut this yarn, which we'll sew in later, grab your new color, and we are going to lay that over your yarn hook pull it through and then pull it through the loop on your hook and then just tighten that loop just a little bit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to tighten that, tighten that down by pulling on the tail. And then we're just going to start with our pattern. One, chain three. And then we go right to our previous
open shell and we're going to make an open shell in that. Two double crochets, chain one, and then two double crochets. In the next double crochet, we're going to make a double crochet, and so on, all the way around. And then when you get to the end, you're going to join that here. And I will then show you how to make the bottom part. Okay, so I just finished row four um, of the shell pattern. I made four of those rows, which actually that would be row one, two, three, four, five. So I did a total of <clears throat> up to row five for the height that I wanted. And so far this height is probably about six inches. <clears throat> So now um, we're just going to, after you do the slip stitch, you're just going to um, uh, chain one and then cut your yarn. And then pull that yarn through. And we'll sew that in later. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make the bottom part. And to do that, what we're going to do is at the place where we just finished, we're going to fold it in half. And we're going to be marking the stitch that's um, directly diagonal from, from that last stitch. If you did a multiple of six, that was times an odd number, like I did. Mine was six times seven, which was 42. Then your opposite stitch is going to be right below a row of open shells. So that would be, in this case, this one right here. So I'm going to place that stitch marker right in there because that's where we will be doing our increases very simple increases very easy um, if you did a multiple of six times an even number let's say you did 30 then your your center stitch is going to be below one of the double just the the um, the solitary double crochets It'll be like this. So, just a point of interest. Okay, so to start your bottom, the bottom section, you can either add in your, your yarn the way we added in the yarn here, or like I'm going to do, which is I'm going to use a magic knot. So you may have seen this before in my videos. You take the two strands and you put the shorter one on the left and the new yarn on the right. You're going to put it on your forefinger, between your forefinger and your thumb with about this much sticking out want them nice and close together. You're going to take the new yarn, wrap it around your thumb so it goes underneath, goes underneath these two once and then twice. And you want to kind of pull it tight. Then you're going to pull this on top of these guys but under your thumb. and you want it still sticking out over here. Then you're going to take these and I like to kind of twist them together and it's a little tricky but you want to get it your finger underneath there, fold them down and then you're pinching nice and hard and you're going to start to pull these and sometimes it doesn't work. 
but it's good for you to see that because I probably needed a little bit more space here. Because when you do this, I guarantee you, you'll have to do it about 10 to 20 times before it works. And then you kind of, then you kind of figure it out. Hold it nice and tight. And it is, it is a little trickier with the thicker yarn, but I'm going to persevere here so that you can see that it is, so that you can see that it is possible. There we go. So, so now we've attached our yarn. We're going to turn this upside down. And if you've attached your yarn using the method we used here, you would have just gone into the place where your first slip stitch went into. Um, and if you attach with a magic knot like we just did, just put your hook into that first stitch and you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're just going to chain three. One, two, and three. And the knot's going to be at the back so you don't have to worry about it. And then what we're going to do is we are just going to double crochet in the bottom half of each of our starting chains. So it's going to look like this. You're going to see two threads and then you're going to see this thread coming coming in. And then it's if you if you pull it up. So you're not going to be going into this single one here. You're going to be going under the two. That's why we in the beginning we went under just one thread when we started. So it's going to be, this is going to be the first stitch. This is the second stitch. And you see how they look the same? Here's the next one. So there's kind of like this little uh, two looped threads and you go underneath those two looped threads for each of your stitches. So just kind of go, before you even start, just go along and see if you can identify them so that you know exactly where you're going in as you go along. So we're going to do the first one. We're going to do a double crochet, yarn over. We're going to go into the next one. It's where these two threads loop together. We go under there. So yarn over, go into that, that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do this all the way to the stitch marker. Okay, so we're almost at the stitch marker. You see we keep looking for where these two threads connect to each other and we go underneath them. There's the next one. Okay, and now we're at the yarn marker. We'll take that out. Let's put it to the side. And in that stitch we're just going to do three double crochets. And that's how we're going to increase so that it will lie nicely around your shoulders and down onto your upper chest. So we did three in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the stitch marker into the second one of those three. Because when we get to there, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do three into that stitch. And what we do now is we just continue doing 
double crochets. There's the next one. All the way to the end. And when we get to the end, we are going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. more here. And we got one more here. And now we're at our first stitch, the chain three. Go into the top of that chain three and slip stitch. And we're just going to go ahead and do another round. I'm going to do another round. You can do as many as you like. Um, on this one, I did just two rounds. And on this one, in the, in the, in the finer yarn, this is a, like a thin worsted weight, I did one, two, three, four, five rows of that. Um, and of the shells, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of the shell pattern. This was the Lion Brand Ferris wheel. So you'll just go ahead, if you're going to do another row, just do another chain three. And then you're just going to double crochet into each double crochet of the previous row. And when you get to your stitch marker, you're going to do three double crochets and then um, join with a slip stitch at the end and, and make as many rows as you'd like. If you wanted to on your, on your mitts, you could also do a, a round of double crochets if you wanted to. Um, you could make just like a decorative part like this, like the cuff, and then you could do the rest in double crochets, um, however you'd like to do it. So I'll come back here and I'll show you when this is complete. So I did one, two rows of the double crochet, and for the last row, I didn't have a lot of yarn left, so I just did half double crochets. So instead of chaining three, I did a chain two, and I did a half double crochet in each stitch around. And of course the three stitches, half double crochets in that opposite side. I'll just show you how you do a half double crochet. You yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. And that was my last stitch. I'm going to go into the top of my chain two yarn over, pull through a loop, and yarn over, pull through the loop on my hook. I'm going to chain one, chain one, and then I'm going to cut my yarn. And then you'll sew that in. Let me raise this up so you can see it better. And now it's complete. So what you can do if you like is you can make this bottom portion as as long as you'd like. So you could make it um, you know really long and have it be sort of a mini mini poncho to really keep you your shoulders warm up to you. Um, but as is, um, it's a very fast project. It probably only takes less than an hour to make one of these, maybe even 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and, uh, you know, you can make them in lots of different colors. You can make them in 
just one color or do multiple colors um, or use a nice color changing yarn like the Ferris wheel and then um, and then you're done so um, I hope that you liked this video crochet tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up um, it helps me and means a lot to me and if you haven't already done so go ahead and subs subscribe and click the notify bell so that you'll be alerted each time new videos come out which is at least weekly and lastly please share um, share this video with your crafty friends um, on Facebook or wherever you like to share and also please share your comments below let me know what you think of this pattern um, what yarn do you think you'll use it in uh, that you'll make it in and um, if you post pictures somewhere post a link in the comments below so that we can all see how yours turned out and of course if you have any questions you can put that in the comments below as well so thanks for watching and hope yours turns out great. Happy crochet. Bye bye.